Good evening all. It's Wednesday evening, Wednesday the 25th of October. I can't believe we're this far through October already. And I'm currently sitting in my bedroom. <laughs> uh, I think I'll start with the computers while I'm in here. Because uh, I've been playing around with a few and I've actually built one refurbished one modified one and I think that's about it <laughs> so I'm gonna start with that one that's the case I've got off my brother uh, did it did it I've still got to pay for uh, what I've done with this one I can't remember if I showed it on a previous video but I've got a Asus motherboard DDR2 RAM, 3 GHz dual core processor, AMD dual core processor that is. I think it's a 6000 plus, something like that. Uh, and I threw it in this case, it only just fits in this case. You wouldn't have got a bigger motherboard in there anyway, that's sort of like the max size, that one. Um, I use that one because it's got the HDMI socket and then it's got other sockets like optical and VGA, DVI, external SATA and whatnot. Would have been quite a, uh, you know, expensive board. Well, it wouldn't have been a cheap board anyway back in the day. So I threw that in there, threw two gigabytes of DDR2 RAM in there because, well, I can upgrade it, but I don't think I really need to, not at the moment. Not for the application that's going to be used for anyway, which is to stream Netflix and YouTube through the TV when I'm chilling out in here no my bed's never made I don't see the point I'm the only one that ever bloody sees it if I had a girlfriend you know or boyfriend or whatever then that would be different and if I had guests here on a regular basis then I would make the bed you know make the place make the whole place look a bit more tidier than it is but anyway I digress a bit <coughs> uh, what else did I do through 160 gig drive in there hard drive the power supply as well as the processor is rather overkill because it's a 550 watt. Don't really need that as it's not really under any heavy load in there. I mean it's just running the hard drive, rear fan, front fan and the motherboard. <laughs> There's no optical drive because I can't put one in because it blocks off the uh, RAM or the DIMM slots if I put an optical drive in there. But again I don't really need one anyway. Uh, but uh, I, put, I opted for the power supply because it was either my nice gold one which you can see just there or a horrible grey one and I thought you know the big clear panel like that where it can be seen I just thought the gold one would look better with the black case so I went for that one you know and as I said the 3 gigahertz dual core is rather overkill for the application but I don't want to mess around changing the processor I could change it I do have uh, more appropriate ones for this and I could save that one or sell that one but I can't be asked now I've already re or greased it anyway so I don't really want to go through all that again all right now I've got this one hopefully I have got to just message a friend of mine so I may need a bit more time to get the money together, but he does have a power supply for me for this. Um, I don't know if he's had a chance to sort the postage out yet, because he's been busy for the last week or so. But I'm not in any rush for it anyway. I mean, I, I'm not going to be able to get the RAM or the video card or the drives or anything like that till after Christmas. So I'm not in any rush. So... So 750 watt, it's not a modular power supply, but that doesn't really bother me, it'd be nice. <laughs> I would love a modular power supply, but it doesn't really bother me, bother me, bother me rather, not bother me. So, as long as the power supply works, that's all I care about. <laughs> and it runs my PC, I don't really care about anything else. 
That's why I don't worry about um, cable management too much. Anyway, the other one I've been tinkering with is this Windows 98 machine. That's the one with all the CCTV um, card thing on the back here and the software for it and whatnot. Um, I've stuck a 350 watt power supply in it, upgrade from a 300. Not a huge upgrade, but when I've got several 350s kicking around that spare, I thought I might as well throw one in there. And it seems to have fixed a problem that this machine was having anyway. When I click shut down, it wouldn't shut down, it would actually restart. So I had to be quick on the switch on the back. As soon as the monitor would go black, I'd have to flick the switch off, otherwise it would just restart for some reason. But ever since I've changed that power supply and put these USB sockets on, I put a couple of extra on, only because I had a spare USB header on the motherboard, so I thought, why not? I haven't got the means to put a um, card reader in it, so I figured, you know, I might as well just throw those in. Got loads of them, spare header, why not? Uh, what else did I do? Now, um, that little area, why it's got such a tiny area for a fan, I don't know. But I did find one to fit in there, so I've stuck an exhaust fan on the back. And the um, hard drive caddy that sat in the front that I took out, I've actually put back in with a hard drive. Which um, recognises the hard drive is there, but it comes up saying um, it's not accessible for some reason. Not 100% sure why. I've got to still um, look into that. But ever since I've played around with it like that, that shutdown issue has resolved itself. Which I'm uh, pretty pleased about. That means I've got to mess around trying to troubleshoot it. That one I was trying to sell, but it's been up for a week and only one person has actually been interested. <laughs> And when I told him my location, because you know he asked where I was for pickup, he, they never replied. So I didn't give full address, obviously. I just told them the town, but uh, they just never replied. So I guess I was too far away. I don't know why, because I put my location in the actual advert, because the way Gumtree works. It puts my default location down as the nearest sea, which is Norwich Sea, you know, about 16, 17 miles away. So when people actually see it and see the location, that's what it says. But for some reason, no one ever, or at least very rarely, reads the bloody description of the item you're selling. It's just like they read the title, read the first couple of lines and that is it, and then message you. They don't seem to read right to the end, you know, where it would say collection only or whatever. Which is a bit annoying because I hate having to, you know, give an answer to their question which is actually already in the advert if they read it. But never mind. Maybe they just forgot or whatever or were just looking for confirmation. I don't know. Right. Now, I am going to be a bit busy. Maybe not over the weekend, I don't know, but um, I've been over at Mum's today. I know, midweek, not often uh, that I do that, but uh, her partner, my stepdad, whatever you want to call him. I'll just call him a stepdad because it's a lot easier. I don't know, I just don't like calling him Mum's partner, it just doesn't sound right to me. I've been together eight, nine years now, so... But uh, anyway, he needed a hand with a few things, so Mum picked me up quite early this morning. I'm sweating like a pig. Might have to throw a few more windows open. Anyway, the, uh, 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 I'm going to get up again in a minute, Nemo, so don't. <laughs> um... Um, sorry, a friend of mine messaged me and that distracted me. Uh, my Lego City, 
minus the Nemo. <laughs> I'm gonna take it all apart. I know what he's trying to do. <laughs> it's all gonna get taken apart. And there is a reason for that. It's something I've been wanting to do for a while. And, uh, oh come on then. <laughs> now that I've actually got the wood, because they're still building houses where Mum lives. So, my stepdad got a bit pally with one of the, um, with a telehandler driver. And uh, the telehandler brings him, like, bits of wood that would usually be thrown in the skips. And I'll just get thrown away. My stepdad gets it. Old pallets as well that would go to be burnt and whatnot. Um, so we got a ton of wood for a bonfire, for bonfire night, because the field right next door is not going to be used because they're planning to build more houses on that in a couple of years' time. But anyway, there was a bunch of wood in there that would have been, well, was perfect for making framework for this, for new tables. And my stepdad also had, and still has, a shed load of 2 by 2 wood. Which would make better legs. And he's got a shed load of very large ply board. Which would make good tabletops. So, he's going to cut everything. I've got to clear all this, take my measurements down. I'm actually going to make everything a little bit wider than it actually is. So the base plates don't overhang the edge of the table anymore. Because that actually annoys me. And, uh... It's going to be a lot taller as well. In fact, there's a bit of tube or two there. I've got all the legs here. Although I did miscount and I will need at least two more. I roughly worked out when I was at Mum's today that I needed 20 legs, but I forgot I need two extra for this longer table here. Um, so I've got two legs in the middle. So, uh, if I get all the measurements done for tomorrow, after I clear all this, just so I can get more accurate, accurate measurements, And uh, I'll start dismantling this lot. So, because the plan is, um, I should be going back over Friday because they need a hand with something. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> That's how good my memory is. I've totally forgotten what it was. It'll probably come to me tomorrow when I'm just thinking about something else totally at random. So, uh, yeah. It's actually going to be roughly the same height as my Lego workbench here, so... Might uh, make this room feel a bit more cramped, but... I don't care. <laughs> but like I said... It's, uh... In fact... Oh. What I can do, as you can see, the plate doesn't... Base plate doesn't quite come up to the end of the table. So, I think I can make it a little bit shorter that way. But it overlaps on this edge, so I've got to make it a little bit wider when I do my measurements. Same with this table here. There's a bit of an overlap, so I need it to be a bit wider this way and that way. It's going to overhang this, the, um, the coffee table here, but that doesn't matter. Because there's not really a lot I could do in here anyway, so I'm not too fussed. Um, and I can't be bothered to cut it to shape in there either, so I'm just going to square it. It'll do. <laughs> It'll do. But that's roughly the height, and I didn't actually realise, but look at this. In fact, it's going to be a little bit taller. But the other advantage is, because I'm using better wood and stronger wood, if I have to climb on it to get to the shelves or whatever to clean them, I should be able to do so without fearing collapsing the table because that one really is not strong enough for my weight. That one can just, 
I don't put all, all my weight on it. This one can because it's got the metal legs. That one can because it's got metal legs as well. Um, this one I'm leaving exactly as it is. So, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's going to be more like a canyon, isn't it, now? But that's what I thought I would do. I'll just turn it into like a, a canyon, you know, with like a, a river going through it and lots of overgrowth and rocks and maybe a dirt track down each side or something. It would be great if I could make the dirt track, you know, hilly. I'm not sure how I would do that because I'm not. Well, I suppose the only reason I'm not good at landscaping is because I've never really, you know, tried it. So, I am kind of, sort of looking forward to that. I think I prefer, you know, the building part of it rather than taking everything apart. Because usually when you take things apart it involves making a rather large mess. But I've got the rest of these down in the shed, but I think Friday when I go over, I'll get, I'll get my stepdad to cut up another four, because at least that way I'll have at least two spare legs. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to literally have it as four separate tables, or five if I count this one. So if I don't feel like getting on the tables, I can at least separate the town along the seam there and pull it. Plus... We've got to get bits in the car. So really, I actually think that sort of length max would be good. And then another one on there. See, because I've got a gap between the tables there as well. And that one isn't even square, which is really annoying me. I really pissed it up when I made that one. It has annoyed me ever since. It's really on the skew if that table there, along that edge. Uh, so what I might try to do tomorrow is see if I'll find a cheap set square or something. So I don't do it again when I make the new tables. <laughs> so they will actually be square. <clears throat> and I think instead of using wood like that to support, I'll get some metal brackets. It'll look a little bit tidier. That is the plan. <laughs> Other than that, there's not a lot else I want to talk about. Although I think this is going to make for a rather interesting Lego video for the Lego channel. But uh, one of my watch or viewers, I should say, on the Lego channel did say that it would look better if that bridge was taller and uh, on the current layout the only way I could do that is to drop the coffee table lower and I don't really want to do that because it's going to look a bit daft and I'd lose storage space under it so I thought you know why don't I go up instead so that's what I'm going to do it's going to go up Normal people have sofas and things in their lounge. What do I have? An absolute ton of Lego. <laughs> oh, and ponies, of course. And said, oh, and a stereo. The stereo and the computer is about the only usual items I've got lounge wires. <laughs> oh, scratchy, scratchy. <sighs> Right. Park my butt back at the PC. <coughs> oh. I'm going to pour myself a fresh drink in a minute. Actually, I might just go and get the other uh, thing, um, thingy. The whole bottle. The bottle, the whole bottle, and nothing but the bottle.
less of the distance. Why is my Firefox closed? What the hell happened there? It was you, wasn't it? I'm going to blame him. It's his fault. It's your fault. Why don't you give two hoots? Blimey, is it really nearly 11 o'clock? Look at this, look. I actually had to take this off at Mum's today. I was getting that hot. From moving all the wood around. It's ridiculous. It's October and... I still feel like it's spring weather. Or it has been lately. It's supposed to get colder though. So I've been told. Uh, pardon me. Uh, pardon me again. Right, I'm going to leave the video here then. Uh, good point. <laughs> right. So, thanks a lot for watching. So bye bye Nemo. No. Don't give a shit really, do you? No. No, you don't. Anyway, I'll talk to you all again very soon. Bye.